We are here, season 24. When you hear that, 24 seasons, could you ever imagine? No, um, I can't imagine. I have been doing our show, Little People, Big World, since about 2004 when we had to do a couple of pilots and then it came into a series around 2006. I thought, oh, who's gonna watch it? This will be done in two seasons or whatever. <laughs> Hope the bumpers are up. Oh, that wasn't right. Unbelievable. And lo and behold, you know, here we are. And when I first met Chris, you know, he was very, very hesitant. And I said, I don't blame you. But um, I, I'm glad he's, you know, willing to, to partake in this for the last six years. Yeah, when I started, uh, you know, I agreed to the cameras as a novelty. Yeah, something different. <laughs> but I didn't want to do an interview, didn't want to tell anybody, you know, a bunch yeah. of strangers what feeling. I was feeling. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I still have trouble with that. When I first met Amy, it was definitely assumed at that time that one of the kids or more would be living on the farm and, and taking it over. I think it's sad and unfortunate that it hasn't worked out that way. Well, the other thing is too, I mean, having started all the way back then, and to where we're at right now. I've seen the progression, at least through our show. You guys, I mean, you really showed the, the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. You put the real in reality TV. Like they still think they did nothing wrong. Zach and Tori have really isolated themselves, you know, from me and Cha-Cha. Will we see by the end of the season, Matt and Zach and Tori work out their issues? Um, Chris, I, you looked off. You looked off in the, the distance. I'm going to let her answer <laughs> that one. Right, yeah. I think, you know, this is a situation that's not Hollywood. And it's definitely not driven by episodes. I think um, people will just have to watch and see. Uh, but in the long run, my hope is that whatever works for them, they'll come to something so that you know, the kids and them can at least have some kind of relationship. It'll never be the same. It'll never be what it could have been ever, ever, ever. But to work on what can it be? What, what does that look like, you know, moving forward in the future? So people just have to watch. For you as, you know, a mom, as a grandma, as a wife, and for you to, like, when you watch these episodes play out, is it difficult for you to relive certain things? Well, I think for Chris and I, we probably have a little difference of it, because I typically do not watch my own episodes because of the very fact that I did it. I've lived it six months ago. And then over the years, I've said, oh boy, man, they really had to capture that moment. Oh, should have changed that, should have said that different. And so, I, I don't want to constantly feel like I'm looking back. But he loves watching them, mm -hmm. and so I'll do it <laughs> because he l likes to. But I'll be in the background doing something else or something. Well, I enjoy it because uh, it, it's, uh, it's fun to relive those mm -hmm. moments again. And I really enjoy because I know all the characters so well. Um, the people. I was going to say the characters. The people, <laughs> not characters. <laughs> Well, they are characters, and I don't mean that in a, in, a, in a TV sense, I just mean that, I mean, I call anybody that has an unusual personality a character. Meeting Chris has definitely changed my life. I thought it was clear. Don't assume that. And we had a little bumps, I think, like any married couple would. I sometimes am a little sensitive. All it takes is one little thing, and then poof. So with all of that being said, you think you got another 24 seasons in ya? <laughs> well, I gotta, re I gotta get to retirement. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chris and I kind of talked about it. I mean, we, 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 we think we do. I'm grateful that all my kids are doing well. I like the generational that's happening within our family. So we'll see, but sure. You want more, babe? Can we do more? Yeah. Gotcha. Show them how fun it is to be 60. <laughs> right. Well, I love More that we're getting to see your love story continue to play out. And I mean, you two really, I feel like are just such a match made from heaven. I never would have guessed that when we met each other, but it's, it's turned out pretty good. This friendship that you two have found in this chapter of your lives together, do you hope that maybe Matt and Karen follow suit? I think they're definitely going to get married. It's, you know, 
We don't know exactly when. They're going to keep it uh, kind of low key. They, you know, Matt's already shared that with me, but <laughs> it'll be kind of low key and, and small. <laughs> You, you, know. you and Matt are like texting me. buddies, everything. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love that you guys show other uh, families no, that, too. No, that, that little thing bothers me. Okay, you understand this is my ex. You understand there's a reason why he's my ex. And and oh. sometimes when he does that, And I'm I like, keep trying to remind oh. her, we all grow and change and with age and yeah. most of us become better people. But one of the um. things I did tell myself though, Chris has never been married and doesn't have kids. I'm the one, if you want to consider it baggage, obviously I don't consider my kids or grandkids baggage, but it is an element that he's not used to. And But I also look at whatever Matt and I need to do or deal with or however we get along for the sake of each other or the kids. I didn't want to air if I had any negativity or bad feelings or whatever it may be. I'd rather keep them more to myself than, you know, have them look at my whole family, my growing up, and even my ex in such a bad, negative way, because maybe I was too afraid he'd be like, okay, so why, why am I dating you? <laughs> <laughs> no. But you do show other people out there, too, who might be struggling with trying to blend their families, and you, you, you the show it, itself. Airing your highs and lows shows other people that they can get through it, they can get to the other side. They're very respectful and, and welcoming and, you know, and we try to be the same. I mean, it, it is getting easier. And one thing I've got to say about the whole Roloff clan is that no matter what turmoil is going on between father and son or in between the siblings, they put that aside for the grandkids. Uh, whether it's a birthday or any other celebration, all are welcome. No one is excluded, and uh, um, I'm impressed with how well that they handle that. Because in the end, we still got to stay connected, and when it really counts, I mean, you should at least be able to count on some of the family to rise to the occasion and be there for each other. So what will the holidays look like for the family? Well, I mean, the, the one thing I, I, I really tried hard at because I hear so many stories at the time before I was divorced, how all the, the kids struggle with, where do we go, you know? So I, I, I told my kids when they got married and started having kids, I don't need it on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day, but can I have it within the few days of that holiday? I like to be around family. Chris loves to be around family as well. And so I, I usually have something at my house. Whoever wants to come, great or I'll have another day with one of the kids, but because, you know, they've got their in-laws and they have their dad. I just want to make it easy for them.